Do you have low testosterone? Maybe on the mild end of things, you're a little tired, fatigued, not motivated. And then on the more extreme end of things, perhaps you're wearing your girlfriend's panties, you're going through her toys in the closet. Hey, listen, we won't get too much into that, but the point is that low testosterone can essentially ruin your life, whether it's mild or extreme. So we're gonna focus on the mental, the brain, the physical, you know, moving around, your appearance, how your body looks, and then your performance as in, you know, how well you are doing with your girlfriend and or boyfriend. Uh, I will say the most significant analogy I want to make here is that when people think of testosterone, like performance enhancing drugs, steroids, you know, they think of bodybuilders, but testosterone has the same effect on the mind that it has on the body. So uh, another thing to say there would be, you know, like chess grandmasters, I would bet that every single one of them is taking testosterone. You know, it's a performance enhancing drug for both the mind and the body. It's very, very, very important. It's not just like bodybuilder, go to the gym. No, it will make you, you know, much smarter, more mental clarity. So if you have, you know, lack of focus, brain fog, if your memory's not that great, could be low testosterone. You know, you should feel sharp, invigorated. Even if you don't have a good night's sleep, you should wake up in the morning and be able to focus and think about what you want. On point and not easily distracted. Like if I want to think of four Mexican girls shaking their chest in front of me on a beach and I'm drinking margaritas and I have a chest full of gold near me with a little leprechaun on it, I should be able to think about that pretty clearly, you know? That's, that's not how most people are when they wake up. Well, one, because they're not half crazy, and two, because they don't have enough testosterone, which I did have my testicle therapy this morning. We'll talk about that later, how to fix the problem of low testosterone. Physically, you know, you're tired, you're fatigued, you're weak. You, know, you don't want to get out of bed, let alone go to the gym. And my description for that is you just don't feel like moving around. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Like just doing anything with your physical body is, <laughs> is exhausting. You know, you just can't get up and go. And that applies to the sleep thing too. Look, even if your sleep wasn't that great, you should still have energy to do things. Um, in the context of someone who is sleep deprived but does have enough testosterone, you might just not feel like doing it a little bit, but you should still be able to. You know, be strong and have reserved aggression. And, <laughs> and what I mean by that is, like, you're ready to run through some drywall, you know? You're ready to be the Kool-Aid man. You're not necessarily always going to do it at any point in time. Oh, yeah. So appearance-wise, people that have naturally high testosterone versus naturally low testosterone, there's significant differences in their musculature and how they look. And most people know the difference between a skinny, fat soy boy and like a tall, wiry, strong hunter-gatherer type of build. You know, the person's gonna have little muscle mass, abdominal fat, just look soft and flabby. Whereas, even if you don't work out, you know, people with high testosterone, they are naturally muscular and toned. You can tell by the shape of their body. You know, like a hard, vascular look with minimal and even body fat storage. You know, they're not necessarily storing a lot of fat around the waist in particular. It's evenly distributed throughout their body. And a lot of this, uh, which I should have said at the beginning, applies for females too, in a lesser extent. A male taking estrogen and growing titties is way more impactful than a woman taking some testosterone. You know, if a female takes testosterone, it just benefits her for the most part. Okay, maybe she has to shave a little hair, but having more energy, more muscle, higher sex drive for women is very, very, very important and often overlooked. So this isn't just like a, a guy's only thing. Performance wise, low sex drive, poor erection quality, that's an obvious one, but same thing with the females. Like if you have a low sex drive as a female, it could be your hormones are imbalanced and you need more testosterone. Shrinking of male sexual organs, your peas and carrot might be tiny. Um, that's another thing. And that usually takes longer periods of time, you know, years and years and years of, of super low testosterone with extra estrogen your genitalia area will shrink, which I guess would have to be reversed in a similar period of time of high testosterone. So I guess a few more things to get you thinking 
You know, those chess players, most of them, you'll notice they have very heavy beards or five o'clock shadow. That's an indicator of their naturally high testosterone, which has impacted their brain and development and their ability to be excellent chess players. On the physical end, you know, if you ever see a construction site, most construction workers, for some reason, have either beards or very heavy facial hair. Again, an indicator of high testosterone, which means they can do that very difficult physical work for long periods of time. And then the, the appearance and the, and the performance stuff is more subjective, but there's things that we can notice in people that do typical jobs uh, that are reflective of their testosterone level and how they're able to do said job efficiently. Uh, overall indicating how important testosterone is for a quality of life, which is why uh, one secret of the elite is that almost all of them take some form of testosterone therapy and they will never tell you this because of how beneficial and how important testosterone is to the success of a life in a male. They, they poison the water with estrogen, they pollute us, and they might eat the same food as us, they might do the same things as us. The difference is they are taking this, the most important hormone that you need in your body. And uh, testicle therapy is basically just taking raw animal testicles, glandulars, and consuming them for the bioactive testosterone components and also the cellular benefits of you know, helping your own testicles produce more testosterone. And I've done many videos on that. Um, you guys know I've been doing that on YouTube for a few years now. And that, I do it on a weekly basis usually to keep my energy levels up. And I do notice a big difference if I don't do it. So, you know, are those, you know, are the effects of that similar to TRT? I would say so, but uh, I'm guessing the, the TRT is more of an extreme thing that, um, that has some pros and some cons, you know. You might have more mental clarity and more mental focus and be physically stronger on TRT, but you know, you will have shrinking of your own testicles because it's synthetic testosterone and then also long-term implications of liver damage. So, you know, again, I've never done steroids. I've never done that. So I can't really give a good comparison of how it feels to be on actual steroids versus eating animal testicles. I will say that eating animal testicles for me has given me enough energy and has made enough of a difference for me to incorporate it into a consistent weekly routine. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this is a little reminder and gives you guys some insight on what you should be doing, especially ladies. I'm sure many of you have not thought of that or you guys can tell your significant other that if she's uh, not playing with you enough. But um, you guys can go to frank where you'll see Frankie's Strange Meat for the glandulars and just all of my interesting and unique products. And of course, you can look up my past videos on the testicles and testosterone if you'd like to learn more. But outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And we'll see you guys soon.